the machine behind me is our new Genos M460 V5AX. This is our entry level five axis machine. It has a low price point um, to get it into some different markets, but it's a very capable five axis machine. It has all of the capabilities of all of the other five axis Kuma machines. Tool center point control, fixture offsets, tool touch probe, everything you need. This machine is probably a very good machine for your job shop that's looking to get into five axis, but maybe they're doing a lot of three plus or three axis work now that they have to reposition parts. With this machine, they can do five sided work in one setup. The component is a bracket from a race car. It is an aluminum part, 6061. We're using chunk work holding. It's done in one operation and it was programmed with Autodesk Power Mill. There were a few challenges, one of which was the part and the fixture in push the envelope on the machine. So there were some reach problems on some of the tools. We were not able to use the side of a tool to machine this surface right here. So we had to angle the part and use a ball mill to machine that. And also making sure we could reach the side of the parts. It's a very narrow part. So being able to reach the side of it required some long tools. And then you have clearance issues around the trunnion. So the collision avoidance software inside Power Mill does a really good job of helping out with that. The cycle time of the part is around four hours. Some edits were made to the toolpath, but that's one of the good features of Power Mill is being able to edit sections of the toolpath that you don't need.